Do you feel safe? I wanted to know whether or not you could be truly safe. Behind a screen. It's just a screen. Nothing can harm you. Why would it? How could it? What do we do when we see something that goes too far? Welcome back to YouTube Unsolved. Today, we're gonna be talking about something that breaks all new levels that we haven't even ever reached in this show before. Of course, we've had the cursed videos, comments, and text symbols. The Jax and the Sandro Douglads's from the surface of the moon to the middle of the sea, but not this time. This time, I actually would have to advise for viewer discretion because nothing like this has ever been seen before in internet history, and no one even has still the slightest clue about what's behind it. So that is why I'm here. The FBI literally paid me a visit while I was investigating this mystery. So that scared the shit out of me, and that has literally never happened before. They wanted to know information that I had found out about this YouTube channel, and I really couldn't do anything except just tell them that I couldn't help them out. Obviously, I had given it the first real bit of exposure from the segment that I had done in the Most Disturbing Channels episode just before this video. So this ain't a joke. And if it is, someone is taking it way too far. Because the last time I checked, the big boy police don't just go around wasting their time on things that are not actual crimes. We're gonna be getting into this right now. This is the internet's most disturbing live stream. The experiment. This all started with a single YouTube channel, which started uploading videos on a day-to-day -day basis, starting from one to six. The videos were then followed according to the publishing date by a live stream that started going public on the channel known and going by the name of The Experiment. And we're gonna get straight into the actual content that's in here, but right off the bat, what the actual heck? Something already tells me that this is not gonna be a fun one. Well, maybe for you, but not for me. This is not safe. I don't really know what gave me that feeling. It's probably just a slight hunch. Nothing here seems out of the order or anything. I am going to pee my pants during this video. I hope you realize that. That's why I'm always just a talking head, because you really do not want to be seeing what's going on down south during the recording of this series. But before we talk about what's going on in any of these videos, it's about time that we actually address the large African animal that's in the room. Or in this case, just the tied up man that's in the room. No one really knows what this channel is doing, but 
What we do know is that it uploaded at least one video that contains material that really just should not be a thing. So I must advise you to not actually look up the channel for yourself because I want to be associated with it as little as possible. But thanks to YouTube's brilliant bulletproof content moderation system, it's still up and public. Good job. The theme of this channel makes itself quite apparent right off the start, and it never really wavers from that whatsoever. The videos on the channel all similarly show the same angle of a very dark, hardly visible place with a thermal camera, and someone, whoever they are, seem to be the main focus of this channel's content. Out of the few videos that we do have, it's plainly obvious that they all show this same person, who it appears to be an apprehended person, struggling, moving around, and doing various different activities for differing amounts of time. And the titles of these videos are just about as helpful from an explanation point of view as anything else about this channel, because they're just simply named MVI1 to MVI6. Please have mercy on me when I have to get to that one. There's no description, featured channel, playlists, links. There's just nothing to work with. So thanks. You're being very helpful. Criminal, guy, whatever thing running this. The only way that this was even found out was thanks to the YouTube Unsolved Discord server and somebody in it who seems like they'd have to be the type of kid to remind the teacher to give out the homework. Nothing personal, but... Literally no normal person would ever be as observant and hardworking to just casually find this, so you get the gold badge of YouTube Unsolved. So getting back to the main point, whoever is in these videos is obviously in extreme discomfort and arguably distress. And I know what you're thinking. This could be and most likely can just be chalked off to just being an edgy art project or any other random buzz term that you can pull out of your trick-or-treat bag of rational explanations. Awesome! Now I can go to sleep without an adult diaper tonight. But that's boring. And besides, the FBI doesn't seem to think so. And after you see what's coming up, you just might understand why. Yes, we have covered a whole lot of make-believe things on this series of videos, but they all have one specific pattern. There's always some kind of puzzle, or incentive to make the viewer play along and join in on this perilous mystery to get to the next step. There is no next step. This is all there is. Six total videos and a live stream. Videos one, two, and four to five all seem to be pretty much the same with this same person struggling in different ways. We don't have to make too many changes to analyze the details all that much because it doesn't really reveal anything. But it is clear that the person featured in the video is tied up at what seems to be the knees and the hands with a sack of some sort covering their head. And the thing around their knees seemed to be preventing them from standing. At some point though, regardless, they managed to stand up and start actually walking around the camera, the camera's location. So is this a closed in space preventing them from escaping? Do they even want to escape? Dude, what is happening here? Well, something in video 3 might just actually help us out with that. I'll shut up for once. You can watch it for yourself. We'll hold hands through this together. So this is the only time someone else is actually revealed in any of the videos. And they don't look like they're trying to really help the guy out all that much. And yes, they, because there's more than one. Multiple people are seen entering the frame of video 3 after, presumably after, the main 
the main person somehow manages to escape. If we just take this one step at a time, like, actually, maybe we can try to understand what's happening. So, the main guy, girl, someone, just goes crawling off frame right before weirdo number one just comes storming in. So they obviously went and just did something to this main guy off the screen here. But we can also see that they were holding what looks to be a power drill. Just don't even ask. A little bit of painful silence goes on before weirdo number two steps into the frame from God knows where with something. The two of these people are seen walking around, incrementally stopping around the camera, and then at certain points picking things up, looking around, and then eventually just walking back off to an unseen location. It should be an interesting thing to note what these people are wearing. Remember that this is an infrared video, and that is just a straightforward analysis, but from the looks of it, they seem to be wearing just one solid color from head to toe. It's quite clear that whoever these people are, they're not exactly itching to identify themselves. Either that, or they're just allergic to the dark, and they're just covering up their skin. So they leave, and that is the end of the video, essentially. But wait! There's more. I think. At one point in the video, something is seen being thrown in the middle of the room from some unknown source. And this is what leads to the tied-up guy eventually managing to get to it, and then getting loose from their restraints. So is this a knife or something that is thrown in here? It's not really too straightforward what this is meant to be for, but there is something that gets tossed into the room in a separate video, which basically appears to be, upon closer inspection, got bread. And the guy even starts eating it, I guess. Cool. Nothing out of the ordinary. And now, we have come to the dreaded final video. Video number six. Now this video just happened to be deleted. I mean, of course. But it was up when I covered this channel for the first time. Now, we appear to be in a tub full of something. Water is currently the top suspect, I would hope. And there's actually a jump cut in the middle of this video. So, that's a change. It's basically this guy stuck in a bathtub, not just not being able to move around all that much, but then an event takes place that I am not going to be able to show you. But I did see it, and the guy basically becomes unalive. And what we just saw before is actually what comes after after. I mean, I'll tell you all about it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna have to eventually start using code language in order to avoid YouTube's uh-oh system. I'm no CGI expert, but I do have a keen eye. And this looked more real than what I would be comfortable with. It almost seemed fake enough to contrarily seem even more real because of the way that we visualize guns and violent shit like this working from seeing it in movies and TV shows. That was not the way this was. This was straight out like Live Leak. It even said in its brief description, Old Subject. It only took a whole week for it to finally no longer be there. But a whole lot of people saw it within that time. Now this is where it starts getting even more interesting. Turns out you could just reverse search the exact frame of this video using Google Catch. Rip Wayback Machine. And it shows a match to another very old YouTube channel called Mortis. To give you a better understanding of how all this works, you basically just can't reverse search an image and get a match unless it's, like, exactly the same image. So this is somehow the exact same place caught 
on a YouTube channel in 2012 with two videos. And both of them stand their own ground of being, well, nightmare fuel. But video number two, which is Mortis number two, in particular has a face. Where's the pampers, bro? Now this face could be reverse searched again and found to be in another YouTube video, which was a horror short film called Lights Out. <laughs> Released on YouTube in 2013. What? So that doesn't make sense. So I tried so hard to find this Mortis channel in the current YouTube, but it's just... No. All that there is, is just... These two videos saved in the web catch. Who knows what the makers of the channel have done to it at this point. So now with all of this new information... It's theory time. Theory number one. The experiment channel is a real-life crime involving a kidnapped person. And the pros to this theory would be... Everything. They say not to judge a tied-up and gagged person by their cover, but... I'm doing it. More pros. The FBI showed up to my house to find more information. I did not record that, so it's basically just an anecdote. And YouTube supposedly removed one of their videos. Good job. And there's not really very much of a thing going on here except for that. Now for the cons. Why YouTube? Why is this not on the deep web instead? Well, I just might have to divert your attention once you're done here to watch this previous episode of YouTube Unsolved for a prolonged answer. Basically, YouTube is becoming the next deep web. Actually, it's more like just the next best thing. Come on down, criminals. Don't. Number two. The makers of the experiment channel are part of a death cult. How original? Because it can be insinuated that they started the Mortis channel, which name has connections to the infamous Mortis website, which in general means literally death. And also there were various Reddit posts reporting on the existence of the Mortis YouTube channel back when it was around, and multiple people had very distressful experiences and reviews to say about it. Some people went as far as to say that these two videos were cursed, and especially after watching video number two, they almost died, losing consciousness and someone actually dying. So, sorry about that. So maybe, they've now just started this follow-up channel. Now the pros are that these two channels are definitely in some way connected. It's the same as a bathtub. Why eight years later? I don't know. Theory number three, it's simply fake. Well, okay, I guess that's pretty straightforward. I'll go with number three. Just for good spirits. I'm a glass half tied up type of person. Okay, that was actually really bad. But I'm going to have to ruin your childhood and any chances whatsoever of you having a peaceful night's sleep tonight. Unfortunately. Because everything in reality pretty much points to theory number one. I really don't know if I actually want to know what's going to come of the future of this channel, but I am really hoping that it all just ends up being one big let on. <laughs> Funny stuff. It's 4.30 in the morning. So yeah, it's probably not the best idea to be making this video. I really have no clue how bad this could actually be. Like I said, We've never seen something so directly strange, even here on YouTube Unsolved. But currently still, the channel is live streaming, a blank empty room. So, that's a thing. So now, in terms of the YouTube Unsolved bucket list, I could check off being cursed. And, 
being visited by a federal government agency. This is my life, and I am proud of it. Join the YouTube Unsolved Discord server if you haven't already. You could possibly be informed on mysteries like this before they turn into entire episodes. And to the hypothetical person who might actually be in a dangerous situation involving this channel and live stream, I really hope that in some way you can get help from this happening. Sorry, like, <laughs> words of, of trying to say stuff, I don't know. Make sure you stick around for the next YouTube Unsolved episode. This series is still going strong, as long as we have completely weird and unexplained and definitely illegal things going on here. We will be making this series until the end of time. So, with all of that having been said, thanks for watching Season 4, Episode Number 2. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.